Hi everyone, this is Kelly from Moonpie Tarot. This is going to be your collective love reading for October. I uh, hope you're doing well. If you want to join my OnlyFans, there is a link in the description box below. If you would like to get uh, spicier triple X tarot readings, they're basically just the tarot cards that I cannot use here on my channel due to YouTube's copyright stuff. Hope you guys have been doing well. And uh, yeah, let's get into your reading. All right, collective messages. What does the collective need to know? Love messages. Okay, someone's going to take it slow and savor every inch of you. Okay. And damn, how did I start liking you so much? So it looks like, yeah, somebody's really into you in October. Really going to be showing that to you. Um, really starting to like you a lot. Um, I feel like there will be somebody here wanting to or trying to take it really slow with you, not rushing into anything with you in October, finding or realizing that they like you a whole lot. Um, let's see. Okay. Gosh, I feel like this person coming in will be fantasizing about you and wanting to find out if you are as good in real life as you are in their fantasies. Um, oh my gosh, you've got someone here who's like really digging you in October. Let's see. Yeah, once you give this person the green light, they'll be all over you. <laughs> they will be all over you. They will be on it. They will be on you, on top of you. You have some kind of power and control in this situation to say or do. You can set the pace however you want, however fast you want to go, however slow you want to go with this person. They are in, in no rush. I mean, they're definitely going to really start becoming more and more into you if they aren't already. But I don't feel like this person will try to push you into anything. I feel like they'll be waiting for a sign from you as far as what direction the relationship will go or the connection in any sh way, shape, or form. So if you are currently connecting with someone or if you're not and you meet someone or you just have someone on your mind, I feel like this person is just every day it's cumulatively that this person likes you more and more and more and then they keep having these fantasies about you going in through october that they're going to take it slow not going to rush it um but definitely i feel like there's this tension building i feel like there's this momentum building it's pretty cool though i feel like it's pretty cool like this person if you're holding back that kind of energy i feel like they really enjoy that they like that oh my gosh so you've got the four of wands here and the nine of cups wow <laughs> this is like a smorgasbord seriously like you're like a buffet to this person <laughs> like you're like the buffet table <laughs> okay so this four of wands, like, there's definitely um, a home vibe. I feel like this person picks up about you. I, I get a sense like they feel like they really like being either at home with you, um, not going anywhere, just kind of like Netflix and chill or just relaxing, not doing anything, just chilling on the couch or um Maybe even when the weather starts getting a little cold, getting some hot chocolate, sitting by the fire, curling up and cuddling, um, having some pumpkin pie, <laughs> just kind of like pegging out and eating and just spending a lot of time together. That nine of cups energy is like wish fulfillment, you know, um, just happiness, dreaminess, contentment um, for Somebody might have a four-poster bed, I'm hearing. 
um, yeah, kind of curling up in the covers, watching movies. Okay, yeah, so you definitely give this person, like, either they like going to your place, or you like going, or they like you coming to their place, um, or will be, um, one or the other will be inviting one or the other to each other's place. Okay, so you have the King of Cups here. So for some of you, this is a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, masculine or feminine energy. And so the King of Cups is like super duper emotional, um, but keeps the emotions hidden in deep within. So they're kind of like, um, doesn't really show it, but they're also quite sensitive and soft and gentle and kind and compassionate, empathetic energy, very flowy, very watery kind of energy, and um, yes, very passionate sexual being, actual, I should say, very actual kind of an energy here. So hot, passionate, lusty kind of energy, but very soft at the same time cuddly and warm so i do feel like this person showing up here this could be you or this could be this person i do feel like there's this energy of um like they will be right over <laughs> i feel like if you like as soon as you tell them come on over yeah let's get some takeout yeah let's watch a movie let's cuddle on the couch they will be there and but they're not going to make any moves in, in other words like it's not that they won't. I don't feel like this person is like a prude or they're shy or anything. I just feel like if, if they don't get a green light from you, then they won't. They'll wait. So there's this element of being um, not pushy. You know what I mean? But if you give them the green light, uh, there you go. Knight of Wands energy. Very passionate. Like whew. hot sheets, hot sheets, pillows on fire, four poster bed energy. Yeah super super wild crazy so yeah this person's got it like pretty damn they got it going on for you definitely so they could have water in their chart somewhere um their moon their rising their sun their venus okay so you've got the ten of wands okay um all right two tens i mean a ten and a nine sorry so, okay, somebody lives, they're saying it at the address 109, has an address 109. Um, now I'm hearing like pressure is mounting, pressure is mounting. So I feel like this is your energy. Okay. Knight of Swords just showed up in the reverse. Okay. You might, like, so some of you might have somebody else also that is kind of in the picture that you're not trying to have in the picture. Um, it could be an air sign as well. And I feel like it kind of stresses you out. This person might be hovering. Um, this The king of swords, in, well, the court card of a sword in the reverse Masculine or feminine energy can be very narcissistic, very egotistical, someone who's cunning, manipulative. It's a, it's a very negative energy in the reverse. And I feel like this person is a bit of a burden. It might cause you a lot of anxiety. And for some reason, they're kind of showing up here as well. Um, I feel like this person, they have jealousy. Yeah, there's a little bit of jealousy. They don't want you to be with another person. So you might already know about that. I don't feel like they're going to show up at your door. Or are they going to come in and interrupt your, you know, movie night or anything like that? I just feel like who, th this other person is kind of like in the background a little bit, and it might give you a sense of like, ugh, y you know, like uh, kind of like that haunted, haunted ghost in the hallway kind of thing where it's like oh yeah i know you still have this person who's kind of just in your periphery i don't feel like you need to worry about that I, i'm not picking up anything like that i just feel like maybe that's like a leftover situation that just hasn't fully like it's a residual of a past relationship or someone who's just kind of sitting around being like butt hurt because you're moving on or you know or there's somebody else who's interested in you okay so 
I feel like spirit just wanted to tell you that. But as far as this other person goes, I see a future with this King of Cups coming in. Okay. Got the Ten of Pentacles and the High Priestess. So I feel like this is like an intuitive, all-knowing situation. Like you and this person, you might have manifested this energy, not the person, but this energy to come in towards you. Um, I feel like you've been kind of waiting and this person has been kind of waiting. Um, either Neither one of you have been moving forward nothing else in other words i feel like other relationships that you and this other person have involved yourselves in haven't come to fruition because they weren't meant to work out okay so there was all this delay and i feel like it's because you and this person were meant to come together right like you were meant to be together long term okay so whatever the struggle i'm not really sure like personally and like it looks like you and i also feel like that other message with that king of swords queen of swords that other person being in the reverse was also on their side as well there's two people you and this you and your person here have others who are on the outside that are really busted um they're busted up about you and you you two coming together there's like other people who i see not being happy about you about this person being all into you and you being all into them like there's there's some jealousy or something along those lines which you know it's whatever what are you gonna do right so we do have cancer and there is scorpio energy here so like i said there's some water stuff going on for sure let me see but yeah this person is like super wild about you look there's a, yeah, the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. There's some air energy. Definitely. There's some air energy that's kind of external to you and your person. That, like, floating in the air, floating around like a ghost. Feels, like, very ghostly. But I also feel like, too, there's this clarity. And I feel like there is an energy here of you know... Uh, you're not afraid. That's what I hear. You're not afraid to take this on. Any drama or anyone that's going to come at you with anything. Um, you have a very protective kind of vibe here, I feel. And when you love someone, it looks like you're willing to protect your love and, the, and a relationship. If that person who comes towards you is respectful of you and kind and has good intentions and you value that relationship you're going to protect that and it looks like you kind of have that vibe where you're not letting anybody destroy anything you know you, like here here's a death card but it's in the reverse so your energy is just kind of like come on bring it you, you know you kind of have that look at that look at her hand she's just like go ahead come on come at me i've got the knife <laughs> don't don't use a knife on people okay so yeah i feel like this but uh, I feel like this relationship is really, really special. And, and it's definitely special to this person as far as you go. Like, it's more than just about, you know, the whole SCX thing. I feel like this, because this person is willing to wait until you're comfortable and you feel safe or you, um, they really value you. Like, there's a whole lot of, whole lot of love from this person towards you. Okay. Yeah, so, you know, you could also be, so you could also be an air sign, you could also be an earth sign, but there's an energy here of being stable and balanced, okay? Um, balancing things out, you know, and not trying to be on any kind of a roller coaster. Look at that. So yeah, there's definitely a new love thing. And I feel like if you're in involved also with, a, with an earth sign too, there is this energy of like, this person sees infinity like it's forever forever and ever and ever with you whatever sign whoever is whoever your person is that's an energy of two it's partnership of two people who see like a lifetime together i mean this feels like it's an energy that it, like look at the water here this is like a cleansing a washing away out with the old in with the new and a new beginning key emotional developments you know this is like crying tears of joy and happiness and i feel like you know 
it's more than just about the the physical more than just about the bodily fluids you know it's it's all about the happiness and the peace look at the lotus flowers it feels like a rebirth or just a birth of something new happening here it looks so delicious for you i feel like it's so good all right let's see what other parting messages we can give you other messages here there you go so you've got a new passionate start coming your way this is amazing for your love life for october so yeah i'm gonna leave that there i hope that you enjoy that and looking forward to a fantastic october with your lover and i will see you all back here hopefully tomorrow take care I can't fall.